I am Iron Man. <laughs> no, I am Iron Man. <laughs> no, I am Iron Man. And I'm Batman. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we'll be looking at the SH Figure Arts Marvel Avengers Tech on Avengers Iron Man. This is a interesting figure, and we're going to get into it. If you're looking to pick this up, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstarzero.com. Figures. I believe this figure is going for about $90. And if you're thinking that's pretty steep, I'm going to tell you right now, because this is a toy review, I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel right off the bat. I'm going to tell you right now, yeah, this is pretty much worth it. I'm going to tell you why. Um, he comes with so much stuff. Wow, I was actually really impressed when I first opened the box. Which, by the way, let's move this figure aside and let's look at this box. Now, when I first saw this box, I was like, how come there's no window on it? And I said, that's not good. Usually when there's no window on it, they're kind of trying to hide something. Maybe it doesn't look like the uh, the actual picture on the, fi on the box. So the figure doesn't look like the figure on the box. And that kind of got me worried. But I'm happy to report that it actually looks really cool. I really like the way this guy looks. Uh, it's very modern day Iron Man even though it's kind of just uh, SH Figure Arts doing their thing and say, hey, we have the properties of, uh, we own the, or no, they don't own the property, but we bought the the rights to make a Marvel figures, so this is their foray outside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I really like what they did here. When it comes to the other Avengers, we will see. I, I don't know if I'm liking how Cap looks and, and Thor. They're, they kind of all have their own Iron Man armor, and you know what, that... I don't know if that works for me because, you know, he's Iron Man. He, he's the only one that should have the armor. Anyway, that's just my opinion. So, right off the bat, I really like this figure. It comes with a bunch of stuff. Love all the stuff that he comes with. And we're going to look at that in the accessories. If there's anything bad I have to say about this figure, um, he comes with his faceplate. And <laughs> it's not that different than the current one that, that you see right now. Like... I was like, what, what, why does, why do we get two? I, I guess two is better than one. Uh, and another thing is the shoulder armor parts right here are kind of really tough to remove. In fact, I'm probably not even going to remove them to replace it with the replacement. Like they're kind of like flared up armor shoulder pieces. I, I found it really hard to remove it and I don't want to try again. It was just really tough and I'm just going to leave it at that and plus I really like the way the sh shoulders look just like that even though it doesn't have like the fins and stuff coming out when he's fully armored up but besides that I have to say I absolutely love this figure anyway let's go dive deeper let's talk about paint and detail let's look at the metallic red and gold on this guy looking really sharp lots of edges lots of um not curves um just lots of edges and and robotic I guess he looks really really robotic to me and I really like that about my Iron Man I don't like a super smooth Iron Man uh, like this one even though I do like the MCU Iron Man I do like I grew up with more of a super robot looking type of Iron Man from the comic books so yeah this this is definitely much <laughs> edgier <laughs> See what he did there? Edgier Iron Man, and I do like it. He has a lot of articulation as well. Uh, more importantly, I love that all the Iron Man figures kind of have like metal feet so they can support the weight when you have a bunch of stuff on him, which is really cool. So I'm going to show you that when we look at the accessories. The accessories is going to be the best part of this review. Also, there just seems like to be a bunch of pieces to him. Look at all their articulation. How do they fit all that articulation into such a complex looking figure? And I really like what they did here. Paint and detail is top notch. Love the metallic paint and everything like that. So now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to articulation and scale. Let's first see how tall this guy is standing. And let's take out 
a ruler right here. Let's see how tall he's standing. He's standing at almost six and a quarter, so he is a much taller Iron Man figure. So if you're wondering how he goes with the other SH figure arts, Iron Man, here is my favorite one uh, from the MCU. The Vanilla Coke Iron Man is what I like to call that one. It is my favorite one. I got this one a long time ago, though. Uh, we have the Avengers Assembled, I believe, Iron Man, which I really like this one, too. This one's really cool. Um, it seems like, yeah, definitely the tech on Iron Man is slightly taller than the other MCU Iron Men. So that's pretty cool. Let's see how he stands with this, of course, on the metal side of things, <laughs> or the iron side of things. Uh, we have a metal suit Iron Man. Oh, not Iron Man. Spider-Man. Too many mans. Uh, from Marvel Legends, as you can see, he scales actually really well with Marvel Legends. To my surprise, usually SH Figure Arts does not scale well with Marvel Legends because Marvel Legends is usually scaled bigger. And just because I'm going to do this, um, here is my Marvel Legends uh, Hulk Buster Iron Man. I, I don't know why I picked that one. Oh, I do know why. We, we do have the 3-0 uh, Hulk Buster Iron Man. Uh, I'm going to definitely open that soon. So that's why I have this out. And of course, we have the Dark Knight Returns. We have uh, the Dark Knight Returns Mafex Batman. And that's how he stands with Batman. So, Millionaire's Club right there. And of course, here's me shilling my Deadpool Desert Eagles. Here is the SH Figure Arts Deadpool with the Desert Eagles that I made. And uh, these are going to stop... I'm going to stop making these at the end of May, or maybe I'm going to stop making them around the time uh, maybe he, this guy actually releases in the U.S. Who knows when that is. So get them now. <laughs> I don't want to keep making those forever. There's just it's, it's a lot of work. Anyway, let's talk about articulation with this guy. Again, lots of articulation, surprisingly, for all of the complexity that this guy has. We're looking at it up and down here at the toe, which is actually a really hard toe articulation because that is metal right there, metal on metal action right there. We have an up and down here at the ankle, not too much of an ankle pivot, unfortunately, but we do have a double jointed knee right here. And we do have, look at that, version two joints right there on a Marvel figure that's really cool so that's really nice and we do have look at this awesome ab crunch right here Whoa, awesome ab crunch how did he do that in a iron suit or a metal suit who knows that is really cool rotation as well also I have to tell you right now the the smoothness of the joints is really nice uh, it's not squeaky or anything. I really like that one. As soon as I opened this guy, I was like, wow, those are really nice joints. Very nice. So, yeah, and uh, we have butterfly joints right here, which are really cool, as you can see right here. Nice butterfly joints revealing, like, this inner gray, gray metal or, sorry, gun metal type gray coming out from the shoulder. So he can hug himself, which is also really cool, as you can see. And we do have a true bicep swivel right here. So you can do a 360 right there with that. We have a double jointed elbow right here. We have that ball and peg. You know, I'm just going to count that even this, even though it's just part of the accessory, kind of part of the accessory. You have to move this to add his uh, blaster gun. But yeah, this is also articulated as well. And it also rotates, which I, I, I think that's really cool too. So... Uh, and we have two at the neck looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. So here we go. Obviously, the man who started the superhero landing. Ah, hold on one second. Everyone stand by. Piece of armor fell out. Hold on. Through the magic of video editing, we're going to go right to the where we need to be. Okay, and there we have it. Wow, through the magic of video editing, uh, we have the elusive superhero landing pose um not quite uh, uh megami fushiguro uh fush, sorry megami fushiguro uh type of neck articulation that i was hoping for let me tell you that figure is quite impressive when it comes to that neck articulation so he can't quite look up to get that perfect superhero landing pose but we can get pretty darn close and this is as close as i could get it 
as you can see. So there we go. And I think that looks much better right there for the superhero landing pose where we activate the majority of the joints. So let's zoom out and let's see what else he can do. Uh, of course, we got to see if he can do the shore you can right here. Bam, there you go. Shore you can right there for anti-air. You have a look at this solid leg kick due to the version two uh, leg joints right there, which is really cool. Let's do a front kick right there. Let's do a flying knee right there. Let's do, uh, let's see, what else can we do? Um, oh, obviously, break dance pose. So this guy is really articulated, as you can see. And we can do the break dance pose right there just to show you. Wow, look at that. Isn't that cool? So yeah, super articulated. No issues here, especially for the amount of money that you're paying for this guy. He has to be super articulated, right? That's the idea. We want to get the most out of your dollar when it comes to figure collecting. So yeah, I have to say, super articulate. Love this guy. Fantastic. Now time for my favorite part. We're going to put aside Mr. Iron Man, Mr. Stark here. I'm going to go to the top camera right here. This is the box. Now, like I said before, I was kind of scared. I was like, oh no, no window, so he must be different. To my surprise, no. He, and when I opened it, obviously all the accessories are already out. I was like, whoa, he comes with a bunch of stuff. That's great. And here's the rocket pack. It isn't in there. I already assembled it, as you can see. I've been actually playing with this figure a lot. <laughs> More than any other figure. I don't know. He's by, my, he's by my desk. So I was like, oh, this is, like, really cool. And I just, there's so many options. Like, so many options. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Hold on a second. He has a lot of stuff. And I like that. Well, yeah, and he also comes with a stand, which is really cool as well. Always welcome to have that. It's almost like they said, we have the license. We might as well just maximize the crap out of this figure. Uh, let's get the Deadpool out of here. We got to get uh, Iron Man there. So as you can see on the top cam, he does come with a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, for some reason, I have Vegeta here. So that's him with Vegeta. So, yeah, look look at all that stuff. That's, that's pretty cool. So let's go to, to the front cam. And let's talk about the one thing that I was kind of disappointed with. And maybe you guys can see it. Uh, maybe maybe I'm just blind. But why did we get a second faceplate? I was like, what's the point of this? Let me see if I can take this off real quick. Uh, so you saw the first faceplate. And I'm going to put this second faceplate. And you can tell me down in the comments down below, is there a difference between these two? And honestly, it is... I barely see it. I don't know why we get two. Maybe... We should have gotten, you know what I would have liked? A, a Tony Stark face would have been mm, the icing on the cake, but we do not get that, unfortunately. Uh, let me tell you one more thing. I'm not going to put these on because it's just really tough to pull out. And that's a negative for me, a solid negative right here. It is Everything else is easy to put on, but these shoulder, these, the shoulder pieces were just really difficult. And they're not that much different as well, so... Yeah, I was kind of just disappointed. Yeah, I, actually, now that I look at it, I did try to pull one out. Uh, this one is the one the fins are showing, and this one is what it looks like with, without it. And it's not that much different, honestly. So I just, you know, that's exactly what it did. So let me show you more armor pieces. I'm just going to try to build this guy up just to show you how how easy it is to, to build this guy up. So we have right here... The um, shin pieces do come out, and you do get, like, these fins. And what's cool is that these uh, pegs right here are actually slotted. And this knee part, I need to super glue this part. I think this was a, a little bit of a defect. This is easy to fix. Just a little dab of super glue will get that. Actually, let me, let me fix that right now. G give me a second. So we're going to do a little bit of a impromptu figure fix Friday, even though it's probably not a Friday. So when it comes to like SH figure, I noticed this is a thing with figure arts, like especially with Goku. Like, come on guys, there, there are people out there with a Goku. Let me see if I can find a Goku. Okay, I have this random Goku here. Uh, a Super Saiyan Awakening. Usually the kneecaps will fall off for some reason. Uh, they're, they're usually, I, I think they, they just produce these so quickly that they kind of forget, oh wait, we need to glue that. Yeah, so no worries. Impromptu figure fix. We got some super glue right here. We're just gonna put that right there, right there in the slot right there. And we're just gonna put that in. We don't want this falling out ever again. And it's as easy as that. So, uh, like I was saying, let's put these fins. So these pegs right here are fitted for the correct 
side. So you cannot mess that up. That's pretty cool. I really like what they did there. Actually, I think I got the right one. So there you go. Let's plug this guy in. And there you have it. Those are the activated fins right there for the shins. This is pretty cool. Or the calves, I think. Yeah, calves. And we're going to put this right here. So there you have it. And again, like I said before, they only fit in the correct side. So if you plug this one there, it won't fit. So just an FYI there. Uh, let's see. So what else do we want to do? Let's start building this guy up. Let's take off this chest piece right here. And we're going to put in the uh, repulsor chest piece right here. And this is him like charging up or about ready to do a really strong blast. There you have it. That's it right there. Like I said, so many accessories. This is like a really welcome addition. I already pulled this one off, by the way, just so I can easily do this. And this is the uh, the wrist blaster that you get. And it can go, I believe, it can go into the other arm as well. And that fits really cool, really easy. And we have the, uh, let's see here. So this is the blaster piece. Uh, this is kind of weird. How come like that gun only has like a tiny little repulsor blast? Like, come on. And the top part does come off and it easily goes in like so. Hold on one second. And we'll focus up a bit. So there you have it. And more importantly, we got to put this on. This is really cool. So this little piece comes off. And these effect pieces are already attached. They do come off. I just attached them for the sake of the video. And there you have it. Boom, look at that. Looking really cool. Uh, there are also repulsor pieces and the uh, specialized hands. Let me just look at this real quick. I guess we'll look at this at the end of the video when we're doing the showcase. But yeah, you can pull out the hands and they do have individual pegs for the repulsor effect pieces. Uh, and you know what, we will do a, let's, let's see if we could do a quick one right now just for the sake of it. See, did I get the right hand? Yeah. There you have it. And then he also has feet ones too. So that's pretty cool. But we're gonna stand him up because I just really like the way this looks. And plus it will also show you the balance. So if you didn't have metal feet, this would be really difficult to balance him because that backpack is kind of heavy. Uh, let's see. So let me see if I can balance him. Everyone, please stand by. I have done it before. Trust me. See, see, he's falling back just a little bit. So there you have it. That's him standing there. Those metal feet do help a ton. And also you get a stand, which is really cool. So yeah, that that's all pretty much all the pieces that he comes with. And I just really dig this look. Now, obviously, we're going to pose him at the end of the video so he looks cooler. Plus, with the stand, he's going to look even better. So this is just me kind of just outfitting him. And let's look at this backpack real quick. Ooh, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Love the effect pieces too that come with it that easily attach on right here. So I think we've gone too long on this video. Let's wrap it up. Let's talk about this. Is this figure worth it? To me, yeah, absolutely. I love Iron Man. Love what they're doing here. I'm not sure if I'm going to like Cap. I don't really like the way he looks, but I'm still going to get him just to complete the set. Uh, any negatives, like I said before, these shoulder pieces, this was really tough to get out. So, yeah, I didn't even bother putting them on for this video. I don't want to risk breaking anything. It was just a really tough joint to pull out, and it was tough. Uh, besides that, really love the way this guy looks. Love the paint and detail and everything like that. He scales really well with everything else. And this, it, to me, might actually be my favorite Iron Man figure. Uh-oh, did I just say that? No, no, Vanilla Coke Iron Man is jealous. He's like, no, I'm your favorite. Well, I don't know Vanilla Coke Iron Man. I do like Vanilla Coke, but I do like this Iron Man as well. So <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, if you're really going to pick this guy up, you can get him at www.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.
Hey you! Thanks for watching! Rate, comment, and subscribe! Where? Right here! Not there! Right here! You! And thanks for watching! So, rate, comment, and subscribe! Right here! Right there! Right here! Yeah!